Look at this, a vacuum sealer. More precise, a food vacuum sealer. It's always nice to be able to keep your food nice and fresh. And our freezer is full of stuff. Absolutely full of stuff. Because there's four of us. So what we're we going to do, we're going to unbox this and see what it's all about. Great, let's crack on. vacuum sealer, food vacuum sealer by sous vide tools and uh, yeah it looks to be a great bit of kit from what I've seen in a couple of reviews so I've got my old trusted manual out here because I've got to read this because I don't know anything about what this is about so let's just go through a few little bits quickly obviously I'm not going to well, I'm not going to go through exactly what it does in the sense show you, but I'll just quickly run through what it does do. So it's a vac and seal. Yeah. And as such, those plastic bags, this is a, like a clamp. It locks in. When you push it down, it locks. So obviously, I presume when you put the bag in here to seal it, it seals it right along the edging of the bag. And that's what seals it. This here is a cutter. This is the cutter to so cut the bag to whatever size you wish. So what you would do, if you've got something that you want sealing, you'd pull out how much bag you'd want. Because basically what you're going to do, you're going to seal both ends. This is open, as you can see, and you're going to seal it and then cut it to whatever length you want with this cutter this is the cutter here so you would cut it and then you'd seal you would put whatever you want inside it and once you've got what you want inside it then the other end you would place on this plate here this is the actual sealing plate so you would put the end that you want on here and then seal it and while it's sealing it's vacuuming all the air out so that's how it works basically so yeah you're sealing twice once to seal one end and then the other to seal your contents in and that's how simple it is so that's great and what sealing those types of things crisps and very very um, delicate items delicate food stuff you'd use the pulse section there's a bit on here which is the pulse vacuum so when pressed a vacuum is generated by pulsation and air suction begins when released the air suction will stop so basically what this does is gives you control of how much of the air you wish to suck out you don't want to have a packet of something soft or something crunchable that you, if you sucked all the air out it will just squash it to smithereens you can regulate it and suck as much air as you want out to keep it still in shape and then you'd seal it that's what that does that's the pulse section and then you've got the sealing time you've got three settings to choose for the best sealing time and um You've got the dry button for dry bags and items without moisture with shorter heat sealing time. You've got a moist button for wet bags or foods with little moisture with a moist heat sealing time. And then you've got extended button for wet bags or foods with lots of moisture with an extended sealing time. The default setting is normal setting for dry bags and shorter sealing times that's what i've just read so that's what you've got then you've got the pressure you've got two buttons for a choice of vacuum pressure you've got normal button for regular items use normal vacuum pressure gentle button 
for soft crushable items, as I said to you earlier, where less vacuum pressure is desired, but the default setting is normal and high vacuum pressure. You've got canister. To start vacuuming for canisters, jar lids, wine stoppers, and other accessories through a hose, that's what that's for, the canister. So if you've got a canister, this is a separate purchase where you get a pipe and you could seal in uh, canisters and, and goods in a canister or wine in a wine bottle. Um, but that's a separate um, accessory which you need to purchase. This doesn't come with it. Here is the progress LED light. When it's switched on, that illuminates and whatever setting you're actually using, it will show you a countdown of how long is left for the process to finish. So if you were vacuuming and sealing at the same time, it would say, right, it's X time and it's sealed. And then the vacuuming section, or should I say vacuuming first, sucking the air out and then sealing all the goods inside the bag with no air inside. So that's how that would go. So yeah, that's it guys. Great bit of kit. Haven't tried it, obviously, just unboxed it, but I'm gonna get to use it. Or should I say the missus will be using it, not me. But hey, I'll have a try. So hope you enjoyed that. Great bit of kit. Gonna use it, see how it works. I'll show you how it works uh, when we've actually used it. But until then, you all take care and I'll catch you in the next video. Bye-bye.